my name is Russell and I am a linguistics student at the University of Oregon and I studied Spanish in high school so when I went to college I wanted to do something different and where I started they only offered Spanish or French so I did French and the last year I took uh, the first year of Russian. So I chose French because it wasn't Spanish but it was related and uh, then I switched and then as part of my requirements I have to do one year of a different language for the linguistics major and I wanted something a little more challenging but not too difficult so I chose Russian which is also kind of a minority language in Oregon so I thought it could be somewhat useful. It wasn't so much about I want to learn languages in general but just how language works and that kind of connection with our thoughts. I really, I was really impressed with the University of Oregon in their language programs, both with the French and uh, French and Russian. I felt there was a lot more focus on speaking. The uh, class sizes were a lot smaller. In high school, it was, you know, large classes, 40 people, a lot of writing. So I can write Spanish really well, but I, the the ability I have in speaking is really because I've worked on it as opposed to having to do that in the class. So one of the biggest differences besides the uh, different alphabet is uh, the use of articles. So Spanish sometimes use the articles. In French, you always use the articles. In Russian, there are no articles. So, and there's also case, which is a lot different with the functions of the way certain words have patterns or like, so if something is like an accusative case, it's, there's no marking on that in like the Romance languages or English. So Russian kind of forces forced me to think of language a little differently. I think uh, it gets easier um, the more languages you learn or study, just you get more open to sometimes things aren't exactly going to be crystal clear and you kind of try to learn things from the context and accept that things aren't always going to directly translate. So I think it just makes you more open-minded and makes the languages a little bit easier to learn. Uh, I would say like to pick something you're really motivated with, um, not like, oh, I'm going to learn Spanish because it's important or something. I think you really need to be motivated and that's a big part of being successful. And also um, trying to speak outside of the class, like if you just do that your hour a day and you don't pick it up any other time, you don't do it during your break, it, it, uh, you lose it pretty quick. There are the language circles. I usually was working, so I was never able to go. That's one option. Um, I used some different apps. I used Duolingo, uh, this one Hello Talk, where it's kind of like a language exchange uh, between people. And uh, if you're someone that's a native English speaker, there's tons of people trying to learn English and less trying to learn whatever other language, so it's usually pretty easy to find someone. <laughs>